Hey, Dawn back. Okay, so um, my Windows 7 upgrade kit from uh, for the e-machines here, which is what I call my ASRock because I have the ASRock motherboard in it now. Let me see if I can get down here. Instead of picking them up and uh, having them, everything moving so much, I'll, lay, I'll go like this. Um, it's got two C DVDs in there, or CDs. I'm not sure which, which they are. But it's probably DVDs. I know Windows 7 has to be on a DVD. So anyway, they um, I can't read them like that. So let's see. One of them is the white one. Let's see what is it. Windows 7 upgrade menu. This contains 32-bit software only. So that'll be the Windows 7, which it may. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's just an upgrade or if it'll do an install. But what that and this one is the drivers. I can't read it. No, it's a little harder to read because it's blue. But uh, heck, it might be. Able, you might be able to read that. No, it's all blurry. Anyway, that's the drivers for the e-machine. But it wouldn't it wouldn't matter to me now because I have an ASR motherboard in there. It wouldn't uh, wouldn't be the right drivers. So um, the one thing I had, all I had to do was I downloaded the. Uh, I was going to put it in the machine and, and boot it up, but uh, I don't think there's much point. If I, w I want to try to do 64-bit if I can. If I can't, then I will uh, have to do 32-bit, or I may just go to a Fedora 24. Because the only reason I was really putting Windows 7 on this machine was uh, to... Uh, I, I thought it might be good to try out that video editing, pro video editing software that made a free version. still don't remember the name of it, but anyway, that's... All right, bye. I'll be back with whatever I decide to do.